Hi. Hi. My name is Autumn Lahendro. I live in Summit Cove near Keystone Resort. Uh, I'm currently the national champion for Masters Women's Border Cross. I'm from Colorado Springs, Colorado, foot of Pikes Peak. Grew up uh, snowboarding just on the hills there. No lifts, just hiking. Yeah, Autumn! I went to college in Steamboat, Colorado, where I was a lift operator and where I really got my passion for snowboarding. I chose Steamboat uh, mainly because I wanted to get better at snowboarding, but I told my parents that it's because they had such a good theater program. Uh, <laughs> uh, when I graduated from Steamboat, I moved to Summit County and have been here for about nine years. An Australian friend of mine that coached for USASA, the Grommets class, uh, I would ride with them every other day and all the young boys and the coach were like, you're the fastest chick we know. And he said, have you ever thought about racing border cross? That night we registered online, I paid my entry fee and that was two years ago. I did my first border cross and I did extremely well in it. After two races that season with USASA, uh, I decided that I was gonna do every race the next season, and that was last year when I was the national champion. So competing full-time, it's pretty much your full agenda. It's about three races a month. Last year I did the Rocky Mountain Series, which included Steamboat, Winter Park, and Copper. It's just a lot of adapting, constantly being at new courses, uh, new types of snow, your group of snowcross people becomes your family. I'm part of a crew called Team Kickass, and there's about four of us. And we all started our first year last year and have hung together, and we're all gonna do the new circuit this year. And seeing as we're staying in hotel rooms with each other, practicing with each other, uh, we have the same wax tech, uh, Steven, he's awesome. Steven Thine, coach, wax tech, extraordinaire. I just think cross sports, where you put four to six people together, you drop a gate, and the first one down wins. I just think that's super cool. My duties entail training during the off season. I'm on snow two or three days a week with my athletes, either half pipe, slope style, and or if we get a lucky a chance to get on the border cross course to practice the course that we're at. I do do tuning. Um, I take that responsibility on. That's just one more thing that athletes do not have to do. So they could sit back at the start area where we're at now. They could just sit back, relax, listen to music, get their mind right for the race ahead. And I take the responsibility on getting their boards waxed and getting ready to go fast. Coaching Autumn is uh, its pure joy. Uh, just like anything else, any kind of coaching, any kind of, there's ups and downs and you know, I'm her shoulder to cry on, I'm her biggest cheerleader, and everything in between. Every race is a new adventure though. Um, I love it because every race, I'm completely scared, I'm completely nervous, I'm in the gates, I'm checking out the other girls, I'm seeing what they're riding, what's their board like, who's their wax tech, what's her speed. It's, you put all that together and you let it all get in your head and then you get to the gate and you let it all go away. Um, the hardest thing for me right now with my snowboard career path probably is uh, just being a little bit older in the circuit. This year I'm racing open though, so we'll see how it goes. I'll be racing against 22 year olds, 20 year olds this year, which will make me eligible for uh, the World Cup, hopefully the Olympics. Um, that's definitely my ultimate goal. If I could describe my snowboarding as an animal, I'd have to say it's as a tiger. <laughs> I'm aggressive, I put in a lot of work, fast, uh, just like a tiger, you know. I love going fast because there's a moment when I'm going so fast, I can even just feel my cheeks like this. And it's just this moment of like zen, I guess. That's when everything slows down for me. I've been clocked going 65 miles an hour on my snowboard. 
Um, I'm not sure on my border cross tracks. There's definitely days where I feel like I'm gonna lift off the hill and just start flying <laughs> or something. And I'm definitely riding a deck that's designed for that. You know, my snowboard's directional. It's stiff, it's very stiff. Um, so I don't get any chatter. And it's longer than most people's boards, you know. I'm riding a 159 and I'm 5'8", so it's built to handle, you know, the, this kind of high speeds. Copper Mountain Resort, uh, racing the Masters class women's today. So far I've had a time trial, 124 was my time, uh, giving me choice of uh, gate for the start today. Closest person to me was four seconds away, really excited. Uh, it's a pretty technical course today. There's a thing called a Wu-Tang, which is a new feature um, on the first top half of the course. Uh, it's definitely more technical than most racers are used to right out of the gate. So. It's taken some names. I'm defending the national title from last year, so it's really important that I don't let that get in my head because that's also a, an extra nerves that I don't need. Just taking each run like it's just a fun run as opposed to do or die. <laughs> You're in the big finals. Big finals. <laughs> in the big finals, and I get choice of gate choice, which is great because I've been pulling that gate all day. I feel smooth and confident. That. So, on our way to national champion, right? One more. Woo! One more heat! <laughs> <laughs> Tiger is out today, yes, and I'm racing against two girls in my next heat, so um, I'm definitely gonna have the Tiger crouch and uh, be weary because um, I'm getting that whole shot and hopefully heading on out in front of them today, so. My game plan has been to be masked. <laughs> so this is how most of the competitors have seen me all day. <laughs> I'm just trying to Keep the baby smile, baby face smiles under under wraps and maybe be more intimidating. So this interview is really messing that up. <laughs> I've been preparing all year. I've been across the United States. I've been practicing hard, eating right, training hard. This is uh, the one title I do hold and I, and I hope I can bring it back to Colorado again. Probably my favorite day of the year. Just being out on the course with the other competitors on such a technical course and the weather's turned out great for us so it's gonna be a great day. Between practice and time trials, there's always a lot of downtime. You find stuff to occupy that time and keep your body warm and your heart rate up. So I just feel really, really like I couldn't have done anything else really for today. Got it on 
Come on, Autumn, get the whole shot! <laughs> this is worth everything for all years right now. And that course was awesome. And in first place, your master women's national champion from Dillon, Colorado, Autumn Lachengo. snowboarder is to live snowboarding. Uh, some people snowboard two days a week, three days a week. When you live snowboarding, it's what you wake up and do every day because you love it and you're not bored of it. Uh, to be a snowboarder to me is negative 14 and you're still out there because the trees are awesome. And you know, being a snowboarder is commitment. You have to commit commit, commit, whether you're committing to the big jump line or you're committing to get on that box or you're committing to beat your friend down the hill. I think being a snowboarder is just giving yourself 100% to the mountain the day that you're on it. <laughs> <laughs> 